Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. <laughs> Check out my home studio mentorship at silvertunes.com classes. All right, so before we get started here today, I just wanted to let you know that on November 16th, I am going to be doing a live full day workshop on design and everything else encompassed on that day. And you can see the link right down below there, right? There. Okay. So today what I wanted to talk about was um, a great book I wanted to share with you. I, I read it probably ee, maybe about five years ago um, and I was just reminded of it again. I don't know why. Uh, pops into the head at different times and it was by a guy by the name of James Allen. Um, he wrote this book back in around 19, early 1900s, um, and it's called As a Man Thinketh. Now, I'm telling you this, I'm giving you this information. I am hoping that some of you out there will take the initiative and say, interesting, let's see what that's all about and actually go, and you can even listen to the audio book on YouTube, if you like. Um, I actually have the book. I like getting books sometimes, and the reason I like getting books over just listening to it or looking at online is not only is having that physical thing, but I have my highlighter. So the things that are important to me or meaningful at that moment in my life, I can highlight it, and then if I'm gonna reread that book, I can reread it in, you know, Wait, you know, more than half the time, just less. I don't have to invest all that time reading the whole book again. So I just get the the bullet point, so to speak, the stuff that you learn when you're in school. Um, but I, you know, I just want to share that book with you just real briefly. It's, I mean, just a fascinating book and and really one of those books that just makes complete and other sense. And what James Allen talks about in that book is how your mind is like a garden. All right. And that's what it is. And like any garden, it's all about cultivating it. It's about you either going to just uh, nurture that garden. You're going to make it beautiful. You're going to put the right, you know, in a sense, thought into it. Otherwise, you're just going to let your garden just grow out of control and it's going to have weeds all over the place and you're going to neglect it. And you're going to do nothing. And it's just going to be a complete and utter disaster. And that's what it's all about is really just controlling those thoughts and putting, making sense of it. And do you want a beautiful garden or do you want a garden that's just going to be out of control? You know, so what you're really trying to do here within this, you know, it just talks about learning and that, you know, taking action upon that. It's also talking about not so much, but you know, it's like really what it deals with is forming habits and forming those ways. Now, what I want to just say about this, again, just part of cultivating your mind, cultivating your garden, just taking initiative, trying to find, you know, what it is that your purpose is and, and, and just working hard towards your purpose. But I got to pull back a bit because we've heard thousands of times, I've even said it to you guys many times, it's just like, know what it is that you want, you know, Napoleon Hill, you know, just know your desire, just follow through, just, just ask for what it is you want, go out and get it, all right? Now, we know that none of this stuff is just going to happen. Again, these things I've said a billion times, and you know it, nothing is just going to just happen. It just doesn't happen. And there's, uh, what, what I want to sort of say about this is having that mindset is a good thing. Now, having that mindset, I could say right now if I wasn't an artist or something like that, because being an artist is a whole different beast. Being someone creative, whether you're an artist that's physically drawing, whether you're a dancer, whether you're, I'm going to sneeze, I got a fever, here we go, back in a flash. So like I was saying, whether you're a dancer, whether you're an actor, whether you're an artist, physical artist, you know, these are creative things that require what? They require talent, okay? And talent isn't just a birthright. It's not just given to you. It's one of these things that we all know you got to develop, you got to hone, you got to work on. There's no pixie dust. It doesn't happen like that, okay? But 
knowing that there's these other entities where I could say, I want to be a real estate agent. I decided that's what I want to do. I'm, that's it. I'm determining. I'm, this is, I want to be a real estate agent. Okay. These, <coughs> these are things, <coughs> excuse me, that you can start to learn and start to build upon. As long as you can read and write and do these other things, I can start to hone in and, and go to real estate classes and learn about that and learn about contracts. And eventually, I can guarantee you I can become a real estate agent. I can guarantee you if I truly decided that I wanted to be a fireman, that I could be a fireman because, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm I, I could. I, I just know I could if that's what I wanted to do. If I wanted to be a police officer, if I wanted to do so many other things that don't require necessarily this this gift, um, all these other jobs in this world, if I want to start work on the stock market exchange and all of a sudden decide I want to learn about that, I want to be a lawyer and get book smart and start learning about all the laws and I can do what it takes because I'm determined because this is what I want to do and I can follow through and eventually I'm going to be able to do that. What I want to say is with art, specifically because I'm an artist, is when you, ha you can have that passion and you can have that drive and you can have that design and say, I want to work in the studio someday and this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to be. The problem is, is there's an element, you can work hard, but there is that element of the talent that if you don't have the talent, if you don't have the skill set to be an artist, to be able to take your ideas and put them on paper in a convincing way, you may not get those opportunities. Now, I'm not saying that this is flat out impossible to get. What I'm saying is, is that a lot of artists have a misconception that this is because they want to do this, that it should be be a lot easier than maybe it kind of is or maybe you know what I want to be an artist and I'm just going to go to art school and then once I get out of art school I'm going to be an artist or I want to be an artist then you know I'm going to draw every now and again and I'm going to work on the stuff that I like drawing I'm just going to draw in one style or I'm just going to do one thing and I'm I'm not going to do, you know, enough because, again, we're sort of busy on our, on our phones and we're busy with all this other stuff that occupies our time all the time. You know, that we're not, we'd rather be looking and flipping through some funny videos and we'd rather be flipping doing some of those and looking at those sort of things as opposed to actually just getting out there and just sort of really freaking honing in on your talent and really honing in on that craft and really trying to get, you know, better at stuff. Um, you know, I, I remember when I was uh, just e even 18 and after 18 when I started doing caricatures, I when I was doing caricatures in the theme parks, Besides just drawing, you know, I remember the other artists in there, they, they were, some of them were good, some of them were horrible. Sorry if any of you guys that I worked with in the past, I don't, yeah, I'm not naming you, so don't think that it's you. I'm not calling you out. But some of them weren't so good. And the reality is those guys would come into work every day and just sort of draw the people in front of them and do it and be done and go home at night and it would be over with. And then they'd be off doing other stuff. I tell, man, every day when I was sitting there, I had my Mad Magazine in front of me. I was drawing from Jack Davis, Mort Drucker. I was, I was just drawing all the freaking time. I was watching other people draw all the freaking time. It was just like I was always drawing and I was drawing and I was drawing. And when I wasn't drawing, I was drawing. And it was just like these, these ages between that time, especially when you're young, and I know a lot of you guys look what you watch my video now, you guys are probably between the demographic is probably between 18 and, and 30 years old. And you may fit within that sort of area there. And I remember when I was working at the Warner Brothers and I got my job at Warner Brothers and I was working and I was going and I went around and I was always drawing all day long and I drawing, drawing, drawing. And then at lunchtime, I would go around and say, hey, you want to go sketch at lunch? Sketch at lunch? Are you freaking kidding me? Sketch at lunch? I'm drawing all day. What do I want to go sketch at lunch for? No one would go and sketch at lunch. They didn't because they were too... They couldn't be bothered. They draw all the time. What do I want to draw at lunch for? But they weren't drawing all the time. So it was a misconception. It wasn't real. 
You know, it's just like, and yet they're wanting these other things. These are the people I can tell you that were the people that didn't always maintain their jobs, that never went from studio to studio. And so much over and over and over again, this misconception of, yeah, I, this is what I want, but I'm just really not willing to put in all the time that this is going to take because there's so many other people getting work out there and getting jobs and it should be easier than that. It's got to be easier than that. I mean, just a little bit. If I'm doing a little bit here, eventually you're going to get to a point in your professional career where you are drawing all the time and that's keeping you busy. Not to say that you're always drawing what you want. You may be drawing every day, but you're not drawing what it is that you enjoy. You're not drawing what you want. So in all honesty, you're not excited about it. So therefore, you're not really retaining the sort of information and learning the sort of way that you should be learning in order to improve upon that overall skill that you want. I'm still learning. I'm still always observing. I'm still practicing. I'm still drawing that. It just never goes away. And eventually, again, you're going to be in that position where, because you're drawing professionally, that's, to, again, taking up a lot of your time, all right? But you still need to nurture that garden. You still need to nurture that plant. And that plant and nurturing it is just... I just, I kind of love this, so I kind of want to do it, and I want to experiment with that. So, you know, don't feel, I don't want you to get in any delusional sense in your being that thinks that you're going to get to the place that you really want and do what it is that you really want if you're just not putting in that insane amount of time working on it and constantly trying to get to what it is that you want to do, especially with the art. I don't care what area. I don't care if you want to do comics. I don't care if you want to be a, a children's book author. I don't care what it is. What are you doing about it besides maybe just talking about it and saying that this is something you want to do? You know, eventually this is what I want to do. Instead of, you know, I, I, I'm freaking going all out, man. It's like, hey, you want to go out and do this tonight? No, 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 I can't go out tonight, dude. I'm working on my book. I'm working towards just trying to get this done. There were so many times when I was just, again, just I remember just the early years. And it's these early years before you're married, before you have kids, all right? And some of you guys are in that position. You guys know who are in that position, know how things change, where you don't have, you can't give all your time so much to that because then you're sacrificing relationships and you're sacrificing your your <clears throat> your your time with your spouse with your with your kids and you don't want to miss out on those those years so your time is to cram it and work it now and again just not be stuck in that place where you are in that job that you freaking hate you know what i'm saying you know i'm talking to you you're in that job that you freaking can't stand and you're miserable and you just want to get out but you're wondering how the hell do i get out of this job how do i do something the reality is how you get out of that is by busting your ass on the other stuff that you're trying to get the, the that direction that you you want to go you know and that that's so that's so important is that you got to put in that time it's the sacrifice are you willing to is that what you truly want or is facebook more important to you is instagram more important to you pinterest all these things is that more important to you going to the movies doing all this other stuff now i'm not saying work all the time that's a way where you work your to where you you're, you're unhappy Again, you got to work towards this because you love it. You got to do this because that's exciting to you. That's just as exciting as going to the movie. Me working on my book right now is just as exciting as to me as going and uh, to a movie or anything else. I'm going to still go to a movie and I'm still going to go have fun and I'm still going to travel and I'm still going to do the things that I want to do, but I'm going to make damn sure that I'm just getting stuff done. So the heart of this is, again, all these other areas in life where it can be, where we can desire these things and they can happen because it doesn't require the talent. But don't be fooled thinking that you're not going, that you need, um, that you don't have to have that true skill and talent. And that's where you'll fall to the wayside. And it's that d dedication, it's the determination. And I was just did a Skype mentorship, you know, a few weeks ago with, a, with an artist from Israel. Um, who moved out from Israel and came here and he told me in his first email on burning the ships and if you guys haven't sort of heard about that that's uh, I don't know who first wrote about that but they talked about when they came to fight in the land they burnt the ships 
of the soldiers and knew that there was no turning back. We're not going home. We're here and we're going to fight and we're going to push all the way through. And they did. And that's because of that determination. And his saying that is like, I'm, I burnt the ships. I'm, I'm not going back there. I'm moving forward. I'm coming here. And he was a storyboard artist. And um, he was terrific. Great, great stuff. And his determination and his willpower. You know, he left his girlfriend back there, but she's going to be coming out. But that determination and that willingness, uh, you know, to, he doesn't have kids right now. And to work hard at it. And I just gave him some advice on how I think he should present his portfolio and all that. It's going to be a matter of time before this guy's getting work left and right because he's good at what he does. And again, you've got to have that work towards that talent and keep working on that skill level and don't think that there's any other way. And don't fool yourself. You're going to, be, you're going to suck when you start. You're going to freaking suck. And I, I, I freaking sucked when I started. You know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to pause this video, but you won't know. I'm going to be right back, walk over there and show you some artwork that I was doing when I was 18, 19. Be right back. Okay, I am back. So this is from my very first book that I did. Uh, the very first book that I did back in must have been uh, 2001. All right. Um, it was called The Art of Silver. And I just want to show you. Um, just some images that I placed in this book, just to, just to show you, you know, some stuff, okay? Um, you know, if you guys can sort of like see here, just my, my life drawing through there is just, it's just horrendous, it's just horrible. This drawing up here is just like, I don't, you know, some of you guys may think, hey, that's not bad, I hope you're not thinking that, but again, depending on your level, you may think that there's nothing wrong with that. The reality, there's a lot of problems with that, okay? So again, just showing just some of my um, early work and not understanding just so many things. Again, I was, I, I was always working, always going and drawing and filling up those sketchbooks and I could tell you I could fill rooms with the amount of artwork that I have on paper just in boxes and storage and everywhere else just piles and piles and piles of drawings and so nothing was just automatic um, you know ever ever and it never is so don't ever fool yourself to think that something's just gonna be automatic and it's just gonna come you know, from nowhere. It just takes this discipline, this cultivation. You got to plant the seed. You got to plant the seed and you got to nurture it and not let these weeds grow in your garden as James Allen talked about. You just got to just kind of keep learning and taking action and doing stuff and know where it is that you're trying to go. Know what the end result is that you're looking for. And these are the important things, all right? So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks again for watching, and again, I'm doing a live workshop all day. Uh, if you're going to be in town for the Design Econ or CTN in November, and the link's right down below, and that's it. Check it out. I'll even, um, uh, you get a free book with the course too, because we're going to be discussing a lot of things. And that's it. Have a great one, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care. Hello, this is Steven, and I just wanted to tell you about this cool thing that I'm doing right now through my website at silvertunes.com. It's a Skype mentorship. In a sense, what I want to do is just talk to you, meet you, tell me about things that are happening in your life, see if there's anything that I could do to help you. I can look over your artwork, do your portfolio, and just maybe try to push you in the right direction that you want to take your life and your journey, all right? So you can go to silvertunes.com, go to classes, click on mentorship, and you can learn all about it. We can try to arrange a time, set up a date. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. Um, and I just wanted to make it just very affordable just to open it up because I love doing this. I love meeting people from all over the planet. It's a really cool thing. And uh, with this technology, why not? So that's it. Thanks. <laughs>
Whoa! Hey! <laughs> go, <laughs> go back. Go back. Go back. Great, go back. Go back. Yeah. <laughs>